Hello there. I have a riddle to share. Are you up for this puzzling affair? It will lead you to a reading tip from Karadi the Bear. Listen closely. Add this to a poem or a song or even to a story and it makes it fun to follow along. What do you think the answer is? Think think. It's a rhyme. The reading tip for today is to have a good rhyme. Did you know that rhymes are an important element of early literacy development? Let's be honest. Don't rhymes bring a smile to your face even if they are silly ones? The practice of rhyming is enjoyable and provides an engaging and memorable reading experience. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss and The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson are famous children's books written with a great rhyme scheme. These books help teach phonemic awareness and fluency development. When children learn to rhyme, they develop the ability to identify patterns in words and can break them down into smaller parts like puzzle pieces and string them together. The only way to get better at the art of rhyming is by practicing to rhyme. And today we're going to play Hot Rhyme Potato, a variation of the hot potato game. If you're playing this game at home, ask everybody in your family, yes, everybody, to stand in a circle. If you're playing this game at school, guide your students to form a big circle. Now, imagine that you are holding a potato. A potato that is right out of the oven, so it's hot. You can pass the hot potato to someone else in the circle. But as you pass or throw the potato, you need to say a word. You can pick a word from a book that your child or students are currently reading. The person who catches the hot potato can only pass or throw it to someone else in the circle by saying a word that rhymes with your word. The hot rhyme potato keeps getting passed on until someone fumbles up. Let's watch this game in action. B B B C C B B Fleet. Cheat. Peep. Fleet. Seek. Feet. Meep. This is a quick activity and a great way to build vocabulary. Children would be able to identify patterns in words and can predict and read other words. Not to mention they'll be working on their reflexes. So, the next time there is a power cut or you're waiting in line, remember to have a good rhyme and try playing this game with your family or students. We would love to see this tip in action. So, do send us your version of the game. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Do share this series if you're enjoying it. See you soon with a new reading tip from Karadi. Happy reading to you. Bye.